poverty and ignorance or is it negligence? Please tell me the difference down below in the comment section. So those are the only two things that really affected me early in my life. I'm going to tell you a story of what really happened on my farm after I fed my chicken on sprouts. This is one of the life lessons that I really learned it the hard way. Friends, before we continue with the video, make sure you like and subscribe to this video so that I can be able to feed my chicken. I can get something that out of this so that I can be able to feed my chicken. Guys, road to 10,000 subscribers. Like, subscribe to the video and like the video, like the video guys. Let's continue with our story. The year is 2020. It was my second year in doing poultry farming. I had kept around 500 one month old chicken and I was out of money. I was a brokey. I was very poor. I never had any money to feed the chicken and the chicken was starting to slim and I was to sell them because if you, you stay with them for longer, you will not get any money out of it. So I had kept the chicken and they were one month old and I wanted to sell them off so I, ca I can get a profit, but I was not getting the market at the moment. So out of this 500 chicken, I really wanted to get the feed to feed those chicken. And the bad thing that really happened, I never had money. So what did I do? I went onto the internet to find a feed alternative that I can feed my chicken. And something that came up, I learned about something known as hydroponic fodder. And today I'm going to tell you a story of what really happened. So after I found that story on the internet, I came and then I tried to replicate my own house. I will be going to show you the house that I replicated of that that I had learned on the internet to make my own hydroponic fodder at home so that I can cut cost of feeds on my farm up to 70%. That is what I learned on the internet. So what I did, I built that thing. First you need a shed net. Then I, I built an iron sheet shed. I will be showing you the, the iron sheet shed later in the video. After I've done that, then I went to, uh, then I bought these aluminium sheets. Then I went to a guy, a blacksmith. He fabricated the trays. Also, I'll be showing you the trays that he fabricated for me. After he has fabricated the trays for me, what I did, I came home. Then I went to look for something known as barley. The seed that you need to plant so that you can get the sprout. So after I got the seeds that I can get the sprout, I went and looked for barley. I never found barley because barley is only found in Narok. And since Kenya only has a very small area whereby barley is planted, it is, has a very high price on it. So I will say if it is that high in Narok and it will cost me a lot of money to buy it, to purchase it, then to bring it up to my farm. So I saw it, it wasn't viable. So what I did, I learned of another alternative known as sorghum. So I went and bought sorghum. I bought the red sorghum. That was my first mistake. Instead of buying the white sorghum, because it has a lot of energy instead of the red sorghum. So I went and bought the red sorghum. After I've bought the red sorghum, I came and I planted. So the steps that are included here, first, after you purchase the seeds, you come, then you wash them. You wash them thorough using a disinfectant like jig, a bleach, bleach, let me say bleach. You use the bleach, then you wash it all around, all the seeds. After you have washed it, then you soak it for 30 minutes in the water, the seed, to break the seed dormancy and also to remove the, the germs that are on top of the seed. After you have done that, then you rewash it. After that 30 minutes, you rewash the seed. After you have rewashed the seed, then you put it in a gunny bag. A gunny bag, then after you have kept it in a gunny bag, you hang it on top so that the water can drain. Okay? So after you have hanged it for the water to drain, then you wait for two days so that you can be able to transplant those seeds from that gunny bag and put it in trays. After you have done that, you have to water it every morning and every evening. So the better thing is that if you use barley, it will really mature at a very faster rate. But if you are using any other seed like a red sorghum, it has very low energy level, so it will grow at a very slower rate okay. instead of the white. So you have to use barley or the white sorghum, which has high energy. So my big mistake was I used the red sorghum. Little did I know, I had two very big mistakes that I did. The red sorghum, when it sprouts, it forms something known as cyanide. Do you know cyanide? Cyanide is a, something that is very poisonous. It is a poison in a way. So, after it has sprouted, the sprouts of the red sorghum, not the gadam, the gadam is the white sorghum. The red sorghum, after it has sprouted, it forms poison. So if it is poisonous, I never knew all that. And the bad thing is that, when you are planting hydroponics for the chicken, it only has to be harvested after two days, after you have put them on the trays. After two days, only when some of the green part of the plant has started sprouting out, the shoot has started becoming green. That is the time that you have to keep your chicken. And my big mistake was, I used the red sorghum, 
and then after I've used the red sorghum, what I did next, I let it to grow up to six days. Do you know what I was doing? I was saying that I want this hydroponic to grow up to six days because it will be bigger and it will have added weight and it will save me a lot of cost. Do you see that? So that was what I was doing. So I wanted it to become many so that I can feed my chicken very well. You see? So I, after I have done that, now the hydroponic is six days old. I, what I had read, it, it was that I should feed the chicken when the hydroponic fodder was only two days old. But according to my own ignorance, or have, have I said negligence, I wanted to get a lot of it. Greed. I wanted to get a lot of the hydroponic. So after I've let it to, to reach the six days, <laughs> then I gave it to my chicken. The funny thing is that it was poisonous because it, uh, it had really grown that cyanide for a long time. It hadn't exhausted it because it exhausted after like a month. So the cyanide was at very high levels. And also the bad thing is that it had very high crude fiber content. The, the only required amount of crude fiber by a chicken must not exceed 7%. And according to, the, to, the, to what I studied later, I found out that the hydroponic that I, which has grown up to day 6 has a crude fiber of over 21%. So there's another technicality that now occurs on my farm. What is that? The technicality that occurs on my farm is that if that hydroponic fodder has high crude fiber and the chicken ingests that hydroponic fodder that has that high crude fiber, it leads to something known as sour crop. Whereby, when the crude fiber reaches the crop of the chicken, the chicken enzymes cannot digest that high crude fiber. So it leads to something known as sour crop, whereby those fibers ferment in the, in the crop of the chicken and which can lead to death. And this can be rectified by making sure that you give your chicken sour milk the milk that is maziwamala or the cuddled milk can i say that after you have given your, your chicken that cuddled milk the cuddled milk will go and try to clear the crop of the chicken so that is the only solution okay now let's get let's back to our story so after i have given my chicken that hydroponic fodder that was like six days old i never knew that it had very high content of that crude fiber because i was very ignorant and because I was trying to save money. So after I've given the chicken that hydroponic fodder, when I came back in the evening, I found like two or three chickens were dead. Then I asked my guy, what is really happening on my farm? And he said like, they just collapsed and they died. Okay, so I never knew that it was the hydroponic fodder. So then I came back the next morning. Then I found 18 chicken dead. I researched on the red sorghum. After I've researched on the red sorghum on the internet, then I found out that the red sorghum had something known as cyanide after it has sprouted. So that is when it dawned on me that I had already killed a lot of my chicken because of ignorance and greed because I was, and poverty because I was trying to get money to feed my chicken. I never, and I never had any money to feed my chicken. So if you want to really do anything in farming, not every plant is organic and not everything that is green is fit for your chicken. You have to be really careful of what you are doing because of that very, very small mistake. It costed me a lot of money and time. I lost my chicken. Guys, that is the biggest mistake. Now let me show you the house of the hydroponic fodder. This house, you can construct it yourself. This is the house of the hydroponic fodder I'm going to show you. So guys, this is the tray of the hydroponic fodder as you can see it. This is what I fabricated for my aluminium. As you can see from here, then the water usually comes out from here after you have planted. You don't need the water to be soaked over here. Because if it is soaks, the seed will start to ferment and rot. So these were the pallets whereby I used to keep the hydroponic trays, as you can see it. And this is the house. Whereby I had constructed only a shed, then the shed net over there. That is the shed net. I used the shed net all round so that I can maintain some humidity here and also prevent some other bugs from coming into the hydroponic fodder house. It costed me like 50,000 Kenyan shillings to do all these. And 50,000 Kenyan shillings is like 300 US dollars to do all these. It is very cheap to construct, but if you are doing hydroponic fodder, make sure you are doing it the right way. Don't do it as wha what I did on my farm and it really affected me badly because I got a lot of losses 
and that is the biggest mistake if you are feeding your chicken sprouts and you really don't know the best seeds that you can use barley white sorghum known as gadam those are the only two or wheat those are the only three things that i can recommend for you to use don't use the red sorghum it will really give you big losses make sure you're using all those three guys like the video